Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time finally for me to get into my winter inventory for makeup. I've been like a month behind with everything. So I don't really think there's anything drastically different. I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up, but I think after looking at everything, I'm starting to see things I wanna get rid of. That's the main goal here is that we're like shrinking my collection in certain areas, especially like eyeshadow and stuff. Let's see how we're doing. So lipstick. In July, I had 28 lipsticks and now I'm down to 26. So I did declutter too, so it didn't come down by like a ton, but at least it's still coming down. Still don't want this many lipsticks. I don't really go by the whole like expiration date thing, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I also kind of like to mix colors together as well to create new colors or like, you know what I mean? So we'll see. But yeah, we're down to 26, so we got down by two. For lip gloss, I had, seven lip glosses last time and now i'm down to six emptied out two but i brought in the shop miss a clear lip gloss i would like to see one of these nyx lip glosses panned at some point i don't know if it's going to be this year but like i don't know i don't need all four of those but i also like them and they're fine i would like to try a new lip gloss though like one that has like shimmer in it or something and then for lip balm, less inventory, I said two, but I actually had five. Um, but the other three that I had were like, this is weird, but like <laughs> my son went to a birthday party and in his goodie bag, there were like these three lip balms that he's not going to use. So I kind of like adopted them as my own. So I technically had five lip balms last time, but I said two. And now three. So I did use up the Ilia lip wrap. I think that was included last time. And I think the NARS sample, it was like the birthday sample that they have in Laguna. Yeah, these are like brandless lip balms. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna like keep them around or not. I don't know, they're okay. Like they do the job. I don't think they're the most moisturizing considering they're from like of a goodie bag from a birthday party, but they do do the job. So I don't know. I might declutter all three because I don't know what the heck is in them and like what, if they're just making my lips more dry, like it's really hard to tell. Um, I might just get like a legit lip balm at some point, but we'll see. Setting powder. Okay, so last time I had six and I still have six. So nothing very different there. I have the same exact ones. I'm still trying to pan the Too Faced Peach Perfect one that's in my year long project. So hopefully this will be down to five by the, ooh, I don't know. Could I get that down by the next update? Usually I do these in the summer as well. So I don't know. It could be gone by the next update, but if not by the end of the year, that would be cool. Setting powders take me forever to use up, even though I do use them regularly. So I don't see this category going down really at all, unless I declutter one of them, which I don't see myself decluttering them. So I'm just gonna keep using them and getting through them. And yeah, that's just gonna be the way it is until I hopefully pan the Too Faced one. Foundation. So I had one tinted moisturizer last July and I kind of count tinted moisturizers as a foundation, like, cause that's technically how I use it, even though I know that's not the same type of product. And now I'm up to three foundations. One is an actual tinted moisturizer. So I don't really have any issues with this category. I don't mind kind of fluctuating there with numbers. I think one was a little too minimal for me. I like to have like different shades because you know obviously your skin shade changes throughout the year. Maybe different finishes would be cool. So I'm, I'm not mad at three. Um, but I don't want this to increase to like a crazy number where I can't finish a bunch throughout the year type of a thing. Like I need to be able to use them up in a timely manner. So I'm kind of weird about that with foundation um, and concealers and stuff like that. Everything else though, literally in my collection, I've kept for years and years, but I'm starting to get like a little nitpickier about keeping foundation concealer, which I should, I feel like it's like liquid. I don't know that I'm a little weird about. So that's all right. And I guess we'll go with concealers. So last time I had three concealers and now I'm down to one concealer. I had like two can't stop, won't stops the last time and now I'm down to the serum one. This, I don't mind if this number fluctuates either. If I have two, like one that's a little bit darker, that's like skin matching and a brightening one, that's fine. But yeah, usually like one or two, I don't like, I don't like to go above that. So which isn't a problem right now because I only have one, so cool. Face primers. So last time I had one, which was the CoverGirl one, and now I still have one, which is the Wet n Wild one. Number's still the same, I just like switched to a different brand and 
I don't have an issue with face primer either. I think that's fine. I don't think they're like necessarily like a crucial in my collection, but I like using them at the same time. So I don't know if they make a world of difference, but I enjoyed the Impossible Primer by uh, Wet n Wild. I think that's a good one. No, there's something about it I really like. So I'd probably repurchase that one again, but yeah. Eye Primer, three in July. I used up the e.l.f. one, I had to declutter the MAC one, and now I just have the glitter primer. I also use the NYX concealer as an eyeshadow primer, but like for official category, the glitter primer is like the only one I have left. And that one, I get why I bought it. And I, I think it works really well when you have like, you know, glitter shadows or like shadows you want to like pop a little bit more or foil. I just never use it. So I don't know what the situation is with that. At some point we'll get an official eyeshadow primer, but for now the concealer works. Let's move over to mascara. So last time I had four mascaras and I'm still at four. Two of them are the Ilia sample size ones. So I don't know if that would count as a whole. I used up the Kiko one, the highly rated anti-gravity mascara. This is the one I'm trying to pan right now. So this one should be done soonish. The L'Oreal telescopic, which is my tried and true favorite <laughs> drugstore mascara, one of them at least. Um, I just have that as a backup right now when this eventually runs out. This is a good number for me. I don't wanna get much higher. I don't really like having more than like one or two, you know, at a time. So this is fine. And the other two Ilia ones I am like using right now as well. I'm not sure how long those are gonna last since they're so tiny. I'm not too concerned about that. Brow products. So last time I had three and this time I still have three. I finished the Anastasia one and now I have the e.l.f. one. I don't think I need like both a pomade and a pencil, but I do enjoy using both. The pomade is getting really old though, so I have to like keep that in mind. Um, for eyeliners, I had nine and I still have nine. So I'm actively trying to use them all. So I might finish um, the ones in my project by the end of the year, like one of them maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But I would be okay just using eyeshadow to be perfectly real with you, but I do enjoy these. So I'm just gonna keep using them until I just don't wanna use them anymore. <laughs> Setting sprays, I had three last year in July and now I only have two. So I ended up using up the MAC one, which I did like. I would like to use up the Milani one. The nozzle on that doesn't work as well anymore. It's like comes out like a stream instead of like a fine mist. So I'm not crazy about that, but it'd be cool if I got to finish that this year. That wasn't a project. Then I took it out because I wasn't really using it as much. I didn't feel like making myself use it, but it'd be cool if I could finish that by the end of the year and get this number down. But I also wouldn't mind having like the e.l.f. setting spray. I heard good things about that. Just in case I don't wanna like bulletproof my makeup, I just wanna like dematify my face a little bit. I think that would be nice. So I would be down to get that one, but I don't need it right now. Highlighters. Okay, so highlighters. I had eight highlighters last time and now I'm down to seven. So spoiler alert, I finished um, my highlighter in my project. So that is gone, which I'm super excited about. And highlighters. Mm, now, I wish I didn't have these huge pans of highlighter because it's too much highlighter. I love the Becca one and I do really like the the bomb one is really, really good as well. Um, they're all good, they're all good. It's just so much highlighter for the amount that I use, but I am actively using highlighters. There's two in that palette that you see there, the Revolution one, so I count both of those as two separate ones. I see myself decluttering the Tarte one, the smaller one. I just don't think it adds a ton of value to my collection, so I might let go of that, but I don't see this coming down like extensively. I don't think seven's like bad of a number, but I think for highlighter, it for me, it kind of is. So yeah, it's just like too much. I don't need that much product <laughs> like that. And highlighter is also that kind of step that I just like don't always feel like doing after I do my makeup in the morning. I'm just like, oh, fine, I'll put highlighter on. But it's, I mean, I always like the end result, but it's just like another step. So I'll be happy with highlighter if I end up maybe decluttering the Tarte one and like hitting pan in one or two of them this year. If I can do that, then that's fine. So let's talk about blush. Last time I had 18 and this category went down by one. So now I have 17. I decluttered one of the CoverGirl ones. I also have two new pans of blush since July, which is super exciting because I hit pan in the Wet n Wild one and I hit pan in the one of the Tarte blushes that I have. So that's like really cool. So 
Yeah, I'm not sure what moves to make here because I'm having a hard time decluttering these, but I also know they're super old as well and I don't want 17 blushes at the end of the day. So all those things are true. We don't know what the next step will be. So I guess time will tell what I end up doing with my collection of blush. So yeah. Okay, let's move to bronzers. So last time I had 10 and I still have 10. Nothing changed here. I don't see anything changing here between now and the next update, but you never know. I might let go of some of my really older ones. The one is a contour stick. So the Sonia Kashuk one, I hope is panned by the end of this year. So I hope that will be out and then I'll have nine. <laughs> so that's what my prediction is by the end of the year. We're hoping we're down by at least one. So for face palettes, which is like multiple face products in one. I only have one and I still have one, the Iconic Lights one by the Makeup Revolution, like nothing that exciting. Like it's a good product, it's fine, but it's not like, it could go either way with that too. I could just like end up keeping it for a while or decluttering it, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah. For eyeshadow palettes, I had five last time, I still have five. Uh, that to me is a pretty good number. Sometimes think about, you know, getting new palettes, but I'm also kind of like, eh, these work just fine for what I need right now. And I'm happy right now just getting more pan on some of these shadows, which I'm starting to do. The ABH one is, is getting some pan in it. So we're happy with that. And I think that's more of my intention this year is getting more pans in my palettes as opposed to buying any new ones. I'm still thinking of like Natasha Denona. I'm thinking about all the brands I haven't tried in the past couple years. And I'm just like, do I want to get a new palette or would I rather buy something else in life right now? I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but yeah, I'm not also crazy about the super colorful one, the take me back to Brazil one. I just don't use it that much, but I also don't want to get rid of it because it has more of those like pops of color and who knows if I'm going to feel crazy and want to try some fun looks out. I don't know. I haven't done that in a while, but you never know. So we'll just hold on to that for now. So I'm happy with this number kind of interested in branching out a little bit but I'm also happy panning some of these or like not panning all the way but like hitting pan in some shadows too. That's keeping me preoccupied from even like looking at other palettes right now and this is plenty of shadow. This is plenty. This is plenty. So we're okay with that. Nail polish. Okay last time I had 73 nail polishes and now I'm down to 71. So I didn't do like any major declutters but I did get rid of two, which you'll see in an upcoming video at some point. Yeah, one just started to smell really bad. And the other one is like a dark, like violet blue color. I, I worn it recently and I just was like, eh, it's okay. I, I could do without this. I just I felt like it was too colorful, even though it was like really dark. Um, which I know I have a lot of colorful nail polishes, but I think for a dark nail polish, I don't need to have like every hue of dark nail polish at the same time. Like I'm okay with a couple. So I can definitely shrink this category down a lot more. I might organically be getting rid of some because they're just so old now. Some are also like dupey and I'm like, why do I have all these? Like, I don't know. I'm just at that point in life now where I just like don't want all the stuff anymore. I'm just kind of like over it. It's exhausting. Um, sometimes just thinking about it, but I also still love my nail polishes. I don't know. And last but not least, we have our eyeshadow singles. I had 57 singles plus a trio of Smashbox shadows. So technically like 60 I had last time. And now we're down to 58. I hadn't always included the trio in my singles, but I felt like it didn't, it wasn't quite a palette either. So I just like threw it with my singles. Um, yeah, I finished one eyeshadow sample last year and there's one I had to declutter because it broke. It was from the Wet n Wild palette that I depotted and put in a Z palette. Yeah, it broke, it got everywhere, it was a mess. And I'm like, I'm not gonna try to fix this. This thing is so old. And it's like the formula is super soft on those Wet n Wild things. So I could just see that thing continuously breaking. Um, and it was old and I just, I love that color. It was like a duochrome, really pretty, but I'm just like, I won't miss it. So yeah, I'm happy it came down by two. But I know for this category, looking at it, there are a bunch more I do wanna declutter. So. Yeah, this is definitely coming down by the next update for sure. I'm probably gonna do a declutter really soon. Kind of had this like idea of what I wanted to declutter for a while now. I just never got around to physically doing it. So yeah, I think this is the year. We're gonna see a huge wipe out of a lot of these singles because they are so freaking old. 
I'm over it. I don't know what my next step is with eyeshadow after decluttering them. I don't know if I'm going to be buying more or what, but I just like, yeah, these are, they, these are from another era, literally. They still work okay. Like, obviously I wouldn't keep them around if they like sucked or like didn't perform well, but I'm also just like in that mindset of like these things carry energy and they are giving 2010, 2015 for real something crazy. Not all of them are from 2010. <laughs> Not all of them are that old, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were uh, in that time frame. Um, some could be older than that. So yeah, I know. So if you're really grossed out by expired makeup, I'm sorry. Unsubscribe now. <laughs> like, Hopefully you're not. Hopefully you're not. Hopefully you're like me and you kind of keep things around longer than you should because th these things don't go bad like that, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know. I'm not like, I don't work in a lab. I don't know what these things, like how much bacteria these things really have, but I haven't had any issues with them. So yeah, uh, we have some work to do in the decluttering department and some decisions to continue to make. Thank you for sticking around for this inventory. Um, please consider liking and subscribing. I am doing another inventory of like skincare and all the other stuff I didn't do in this video and potentially some decluttering in the future. So definitely stick around and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.